playing trade guitars is giving away this Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul to one of you. How to enter? Subscribe to Playing Trade Guitars on YouTube and we'll give it away when we hit 50,000 subscribers. Hey, welcome back to Play and Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera, and this is Play and Trade Guitars, where we play it and trade it. If you're in the market for a new guitar, you can check our links in the description for Zounds. We've partnered with them to bring you the best new guitars. We're trying to be a great resource to help you make the right decision. Today, we're continuing our series looking at the best-selling and brand new Les Pauls from both Epiphone and Gibson. You can check out the beautiful R9 1959 reissue from the Murphy Lab that we featured. We're putting that head to head with something really cool, the first collaboration from the Gibson Custom Shop with Epiphone to design this 1959 Epiphone uh, Les Paul Standard. So it even comes with a hard shell case. It's got an $899 price point, including the case, which is pretty hard to beat already. We're gonna take a look at the specs on the bench. We're gonna plug it in and play it. But first, Zach, let's get down and flip these latches and get our first look at this beautiful guitar. Ta-da, even got the pink interior, I love it. This is the 1959 Les Paul Standard from Epiphone and it's got some really high-end features that I think when you figure that this is an $899 guitar, this could be the one to beat. This could be the Epiphone Les Paul uh, that you have to own. So let's get it out of the case, we'll talk about some highlights and then we'll get all the measurements and specs on the bench before we plug it in and play. Uh, up at the top, like I said, you have some really nice vintage style tuners. Uh, back of the headstock there, you'll see it's kind of like Klusen style with the tulip uh, knobs, which is really cool. Epiphone, Perloid, inlay, Les Paul model there, nothing on the truss rod, a Graftech nut. Nice binding on this guitar, black markers. Uh, Indian Laurel fretboard with trapezoid inlays. And the body itself, we're looking at a mahogany body, traditional Les Paul, mahogany neck. Maple, maple cap, but then there's actually a maple veneer, which is giving you the look of this like flamed uh, AAA, you know, flamed maple top, which looks really cool. It's not a gloss finish. I would probably call it like a satin finish. Um, I believe it's finished in poly. The humbuckers are really cool because typically uh, in an Epiphone Les Paul, you're going you're gonna to have their pro buckers, which are really cool. Very, very nice pickups. This is the first Epiphone I've seen where they have the actual burst buckers, the exact same burst buckers that they would put in an American-made Gibson Les Paul in this guitar at $899. Um, that right there, if you were to buy those and put them in an Epiphone Les Paul, would, would cost you, you know, a couple hundred bucks or something, and it's coming included. You got the nice stylings, the thumb bleeder knobs. This is not going to have any of the modern features like coil splitting or tapping. This is like the traditional take on the 59 Les Paul. So 50 style hand wiring, which we'll check out. But I think what you're getting for the money already out of the gate is just so impressive, especially with those pickups, uh, the collaboration with the Gibson Custom Shop. I'm super excited to play this guitar. I also tend to like, I don't like a super slim neck and uh, the feel of this neck is great. It's a little thicker than what I would call a 59 neck. Um, but it's not too thick. It's not a baseball bat. It feels good in the hands. Uh, deeper neck profile for sure. So we'll get all those measurements as we pull the strings off. So let's do that now. Okay, let's flip these pickups over. Yeah, this is a straight up Burst Bucker 3 and bridge, exactly like you'd see in a Gibson USA guitar. And here is a Burst Bucker 2 and neck. Manufacture date July of 21. Uh, nothing too exciting down in here, except, actually, there is something exciting. They have the long neck tendon, which a lot of people uh, adore and want to see for historical accuracy and some say resonance and all the other things that may or may not uh, add to the guitar. But this Epiphone has a set neck, long neck tendon, which is almost unheard of, I think. So that's pretty cool that they went that extra step with the custom shop to get that right. While we have the pickup splayed out, let's get a uh, resistance reading. We're looking at a Burst Bucker 3 in bridge position, reading 8.1 ohms. Burst Bucker 2 in neck, reading 7.8. Combined reading in the middle position of 3.9. With string tension back on, we can get our first look at the feel of this neck. Good ring to the guitar, very comfortable neck, my kind of neck shape, uh, fits in my hand great, it's not too slim. Um, if you're looking for a super slim neck, I'd say it's probably not for you, 
But this one, and trying to go for that kind of 59 perfect medium, I think is, is fit in that bill. I do feel it as slightly larger, I don't know if it's the shape or what, uh, than the Murphy Lab 1959 that we looked at. Uh, but feels great in my hands. So we were looking at a Murphy Lab that was eight and three quarter pounds versus this Epiphone, just over eight and a half pounds. So right in that sweet spot, eight and a half pounds is a good weight on a Les Paul. Let's flip the guitar over and we'll take a look at the electronics. Sweet uh, limited edition emblem here. No aging on this guitar, you're gonna have to do your own aging. And this I can appreciate, hand wiring, CTS 500K pots, 50s style wiring. Sweet, well from a quality control standpoint, I don't see any issues, I don't see anything that bothers me in terms of the finish. Everything was really well executed, really well done. So one thing that's definitely different than a Gibson, which is not gonna affect the playability at all, but they've constructed the neck with a scarf joint. So it's actually, it's almost, it's almost like you had a broken headstock repair or something, but this is actually uh, installed that way. So there's a scarf joint that has the headstock held and then they add the additional wings to round out that headstock there. You can see the joint on those three pieces of wood. All right, well that's enough talking about it. Let's play it. Let's check out some DI clean tones, starting with the bridge. Nice sounds from the Burst Bucker pickups, typically what you'd find in a Gibson USA guitar, so that's a great upgrade. Let's throw through a Marshall, put a track on and see how it lives up uh, to its name, the 1959 Les Paul Standard.
worked myself out of tune, but I'll tell you what, the guitar feels great. The Burstbucker Pro pickups in this guitar with the upgraded electronics, the nice tuners, the whole look, the whole collaboration with the Gibson Custom Shop I think is really cool. And uh, I'll tell you what, for $899 plus the hard shell case, plus everything you're getting, you'd be hard pressed to beat this guitar. I think it feels and sounds great. Drop a comment, let us know what you think, and make sure you check out our Murphy Lab 1959 R9 Les Paul. Links in the descriptions. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for rocking with us.